All right, here we go. Hello, this is CB Ultra 768, and we are here to finish Bioshock Infinite. And last time, we basically saved Elizabeth, and she wants, wanted us to go and kill Comstock. So we went after Comstock's airship, managed to get on it, climbed our way up, and found Comstock himself. And Booker promised to kill him himself, so he did. And she was kind of mad at us because she was like, what did he mean? Because he was like revealing some stuff about us being this false shepherd and everything. And as we did it, we also got a nosebleed while we were doing it. And so then, as we continued, we were about to be killed by uh, Daisy's men. But then she realized on the paper that her dimensional self, her older dimensional self gave her, it turned out it was a song sheet for the bird so they could control Songbird. And basically, we also learned that the tower she was living in was a cipher. It was like basically uh, dampening her powers. But after we destroyed it, she has fully unleashed her powers. We were in Rapture for a few minutes, and now we have been walking through different dimensions because it turns out every lighthouse in the Bioshock worlds are different doors to different dimensions and we are traveling through each one to find Comstock. Cause again, as he was saying, Comstock is dead, but she's like, no, he was here. So now we have to get pressed. And what of my debts? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes, the girl for the debt. was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Okay. Come, baby. Oh, my hand's all better, too. I didn't no. notice that. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. Alright, don't freak out, dude. I'm gonna teleport over to you. Right <laughs> the debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. <laughs> Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, I'm bleeding. Oh. I remember. But I remember. I, uh, he always I checks his nose the anymore. same way. I don't expect this next bit to be much for his mood. Come on. I was like, how do I get off? <laughs> I can't. I was like, doing? let me interact. Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to. You mean like Chen Li? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. I don't know why I'm trying to check stuff. I should just keep moving forward. I mean, we're at the end of the game. I'm not going to be getting any guns or anything. The rest of the game, if I remember, becomes basically a walking simulator as she just explains shit to us. Hey. Hey, the deal's off. You hear me? The deal is off. Give her back. Give her back. Fine. Are you mad? No, you will not get caught between. Come. It is uncomfortable enough as it is! Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Hey. Go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down Anna. the machine! Now do it! Give me back my 
my daughter! No! Da -da -da. <laughs> so yeah. So again, tell you the truth, I knew all about this. So yep, yeah, there's the big reveal. <laughs> Elizabeth. Anna. No. Is our daughter. No. Who is actually named I'm Anna. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry. She's gone, Booker. Anna's gone. You shared this room with Ah, uh, and that's what AD means. I didn't actually realize that. AD means Anna DeWitt. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance. Redemption. A chance for us to live together. I told you. Oh, sure. We already know it works. The question is, will he? You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. Mm. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. Ah, oh, boy. Away the death. He was third. Wipe away the death. See? He's starting to put his story together. Wipe away You're quite fond death. of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his own ones. Well, Wipe the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Look at her wake up. This is where it started. I sold you. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. <laughs> this is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. <laughs> I'll kill that freaking baby. I'll kill all the Comstock babies. <laughs> it's the perfect solution. I'm not mad. <laughs> like, even if you did that, dude, you'd have to smother, like, billions of babies in different dimensions. Like, you think it's just gonna be one Comstock baby that connects them all? Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Especially with your finger. Oh, so disgusting. Oh, Look at the wit. Are you ready to what be born this? again? Why are, are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're that not. has gone before? Wipe the sleep clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You, you were born again as a different man. It all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother, smother, smother. So, yeah, so that's the big reveal. For Booker is Comstock. You are and what name should you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. They're both. I'd say, again, it has been a bit since I've seen this ending, but yeah, I do... I do remember it now. So yeah, so basically all the Elizabeths from different dimensions show up. And he learns the truth that I'm both Booker DeWitt and Zachary Comstock. And he decides to let them kill him. Because apparently for some reason he's the source. And... Thanks to that, now all those Elizabeth's dimensions chained, I guess? I mean, again, like, this dimension story is very, very different. Unlike other dimension stories, usually in different dimensions, when a character goes to a different dimension, it affects nothing, really. Like, whatever happens on that dimension stays in that dimension. In this one, they made it to where it's like, 
all of these dimensions are intertwined with each other. Kind of like, again, like the time travel theory, too. Like, it's kind of like mixing time travel with dimensions, where if you do one thing in one dimension, it's going to affect that exact same person and other people in another dimension. But, uh, overall, game, it was, it was fun to play. Uh, characters. I did like Elizabeth. Again, I like her game mechanics, like her throwing you ammo, health, money especially. <laughs> like, that was fun. And again, I am glad I was able to finally play through all three of the Bioshock games. Like I said, I've always heard about the Bioshock games, but I've never, never played them. And it was interesting to have the experience to go through each one and see how they play differently and what their stories are which I want to recap all their stories so far. So the first one was about you're just a nameless man who's on a plane who crashes, who seems to crash on Rapture and goes around Rapture trying to survive all these psychopaths and just find answers. But then you eventually find out, turns out, no, you were actually born from Rapture. You're actually like a test tube baby who was sent to the surface, surface and then called back to do the dirty work of Fontaine. And then once you're free, you kill Fontaine and then you either get the good or bad ending. But mostly the good ending is just you go back to the surface with all the little sisters and you decide you. to live a happy family but life with them. And they grow to become independent women, basically. Then the second game is you play Delta. Where you're just a big daddy who was killed like 10 years ago. And then it turns out the little sister you were taking care of, Eleanor, brings you back to life. And you basically go on a whole adventure just to save her. And in the end you get a good or bad ending or even a neutral ending where she doesn't even take your atom and you just let her watch you die. But she still lives a happy life. Though again, the good ending's good too. She takes your Adam and learns all the good you did. And again, I like the lesson in it to where it's like, you have to learn to forgive some of the people that have done you harm, which I really like. And so now this game, again, they went a whole different direction with this game, where it's just like, oh, hey, you play D Booker DeWitt, who needs a debt wiped away and you're supposed to bring this girl Elizabeth to New York and your debt will be repaid but then in the end it turns out the whole time the bad guy you're running away from who is Comstock it turns out you were always the bad guy to begin with no matter what what it was, you were always Comstock, or you were Booker DeWitt in a different dimension, and all the Elizabeths throughout all the, quote, million, I find that ridiculous, million, are you kidding me, there's billions of dimensions, come on, but anyway, all the Elizabeths from different dimensions were suffering because of us, and for some reason, we were the one Booker DeWitt severed the connection though like I said to tell you the truth we are technically not done because we still have the DLC to play for this which is Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea so I'm looking forward to playing that and see if it shines some more light the only thing I know about that is that game takes place in Rapture where we play a Booker DeWitt who was born in Rapture I think and I think he's like a private eye too. Like it gives it kind of a more no war setting actually, which I think will be kind of cool. Though again, I have no idea how that ends and stuff. I have not even seen a peek at that, honestly. So I'm looking forward to playing that. But then, like I said, I, well, I didn't say it, but then after that, that's it. We're gonna be fully done with Bioshock until eventually Bioshock 4 comes out. Which, I wonder if I should uh, play Bioshock 4 when it does come out. I mean, overall, the games are 
were fun, were fun to play. I really liked them. Uh, I'm trying to think which game had the best gameplay style. I'm still kind of honestly good with Bioshock 2. Because I like the idea of just playing a big daddy. And again, especially the ability they give you with the drill where you get like charge and stuff. That was cool. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the DLC for Bioshock 2. The DLC was fun too. And again, I still hate that. I like had to play the ending of that twice but I mean again the first time when I saw the reveal I was like holy crap like it was such a good reveal at the end of like who our character was when we were playing Sigma and like again when you listen to the some of the dialogue it makes so much more sense like when you know who you are in that DLC which I'm not gonna tell you if you want go check out the video or play it yourself honestly but yeah, it was like really cool. I really liked that. But uh, yeah, overall, this game was fun. I liked the mechanics. There were certain guns I really liked. Uh, the, um, let's see, like the machine gun was a good starting, but then as you saw, as I played, I evolved into the carbine. And at the end there, I actually really liked the sniper rifle there. Again, I mean, I was impressed that it even took down like a Patriot. Just bam, right through the chest. I was like, damn, one shot. Like it was already hurt, but I mean, still one bullet. And I was like, damn, that was cool. And then again, you saw I just kept the rocket launcher. Honestly, the rocket launcher was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, For some of the baddies, and again, like I already said, the bad guys are honestly kind of meh. Like we get mention, we get the, like this Fink guy, and then we just jump to a different dimension where Daisy takes over his factory and kills him. Like there's no real boss battles, and I mean I know the boss battles in the first and second Bioshock were really nothing. You just kind of run around, throw plasmids, and shoot. But I mean still, it was like kind of fun. Because again, you like had these people taunting you all over the radio, and then it's like finally you just, uh, yeah, you shoot them and pound them, and it's like you beat them up, and it's like yeah, take that, shut up. Like again, I love that one where like there was like the guy who wanted you to take pictures of corpses, and you could like either just leave or you could fight him. And I chose to fight him because I was like, screw you, buddy. I was like, I don't like you. I just wish I knew about the trophy when I fought him, though. Because I still haven't got it. I need to play it again. Where there's a trophy where if you take a picture of that guy's dead body, you get, like, a trophy, like, irony or something, which is really funny. I always love trophies like that. But uh, back to this game. The whole dimension idea was cool. It's just so weird how it just strayed away from the first two games. Like... The first two games take place in Rapture, where they establish this world, and now it's like, oh hey, here's all these different altered dimension worlds. But I mean, I guess the thing that makes Ra the Rapture and Bioshock 1 and 2 special is just... Maybe that's the only dimension where there was an underwater city, like that's the thing. Like maybe in another world there's only one Rapture. That could be possible. But again, like I said, hopefully once we start playing the once I start playing the DLC, maybe it'll add some more story elements and hopefully it, that'll be more of a blind experience, which it should be because I don't know how it ends. I know a bit of the beginning like I said, but hopefully it'll be a like fun, interesting experience when we go back to Rapture and the DLC. So yeah. Overall, again, this was a fun time. And again, going back to, like, villains, Songbird was kind of disappointing. Like, maybe it was in some of the audio logs and I just didn't really get it. But, I mean, was he just, like, an organic... Was he a bird that was transformed into some monstrosity by Comstock and Fink? And that's it? Like, what was with Songbird? This is fine. It's that one oh. line I know. Yeah, oh my. I <clears throat> so I'm saying, went back home, Lord. My home was lonesome. Went back home. Oh yeah, I remember this. I didn't find this though. I do know. I do remember now. In the game, you could find a, a guitar. Even then, I was too short. Not you could find a guitar, and then 
Booker and yeah. Elizabeth take a break and like sing a song and stuff. Which is kind of cool. This is cute, seeing some behind the scenes. And the only thing I hope is when these people made these games, Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite, I just hope they had a lot of fun recording and making it into a really fun game. Like again, like the plasmids and vigors you use in each game, just certain ones are so fun to use. And like, especially in the first and second game, when you can like study the environment to use it to your advantage was fun. Like again, like uh, in this game, my favorite vigors was uh, possession for the machines, but sometimes I'd use it in combat. Uh, I liked the fire. Electricity was good. Like again, towards the end there, I started really being like, realizing I'm like, okay, I need to use traps. And then again, I liked the crow too. Cause again, when enemies died, it would lay traps too. Like that stuff was really fun. I wonder how Troy Baker's doing nowadays. Especially after Last of Us Part 2. Like, uh, Troy Baker and this actress here who played Elizabeth, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. They did a, they did a great job. Like, she was good. I really liked her performances and the way she acted. And Troy Baker was, like, good. Being kind of like this rough, tough guy. Yeah, this was all fun. I enjoyed it. Just gonna listen to this. Hopefully, it's not copyrighted. so lucky with PlayStation Plus. I just love, like, as soon as I see a game I've always had interest in, then I'm always just like, I want to play it. You do that. Otherwise, cool, it was like, well, otherwise, it was just like an abrupt ending, right? All right, well, so, so let, what I wanted to do, you guys are Sorry. really, really, really good. What I wanted to do well, was make it worse. Eight worse. I, want to, I, want, I want to take the tempo down a little bit if we can um, and sort of start by finding, like, Booker, if you could just be sort of like picking away at the beginning first and then sort of start to play the song and maybe then um, you guys kind of find the tempo together a little bit. Um, <laughs> I want it to feel, you guys are so excellent and professional. Yeah, I, no, I will be like, <laughs> I, I want to make it sound like it's not like, you know. Sure. Charlotte Look, I'm not trying to stroke your <laughs> egos. You guys are fantastic, um, okay? So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is <laughs> like the way he's saying this. Rip. 
Yeah. Uh, Jocelyn. Uh, next, Tina. <laughs> Pretty Spears and Seal. <laughs> Again, it looked like they had a lot of fun making this game. And again, overall, it was a it was a fun experience. I really I really liked playing this. Like I said, this is my first ever time playing these BioShock games. But again, if I had to rank which BioShock games I liked the most, uh, two would be first. Infinite uh, Infinite second. And then Bioshock 1 third. Because, like, Bioshock 1 was, like, good introduction. But, like, it still felt like it was still trying to find itself with some of its mechanics. Like, as I played, I know the plasmids are supposed to make you feel strong and powerful. But most of the time, I felt, I never felt that super powerful while playing the first Bioshock. But then came Bioshock 2, when they make you Delta and in into a big daddy. That's when I was like, oh, I feel like I could take on the world. And it was like great empowerment. I loved like the idea of feeling like this almost unstoppable force who's willing to do nothing and go through anything just to save his little sister, Eleanor, just to save his daughter, I mean. And then uh, Infinite. Again, I like to hold the the different mechanics with the guns. I liked some of the figures, as I said. Didn't use all of them, but some of them I liked more than others. And I liked the whole thing with, like, again, the mechanics of Elizabeth throwing you stuff. Or you could ask her, like, open that tear, and, like, you can give yourself a tactical advantage. Like, overall, I really liked that stuff. It was really cool. 1893. <laughs> Anna? What do we got here? I don't remember this. Is that you? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that's about. Is the idea, is that supposed to be a dimension where Booker is finally happy? Maybe? Like, again, like, they killed the, uh, Comstock side of him, but now there's a Booker in a dimension where he's there with Anna, basically. Because, again, that wasn't 1912. That was 1893. That was, like, way back before. I'll say how many years back. I'll put it on screen and see what that's all about. Huh, interesting. Alright, so yep. That's gonna be it for Bioshock Infinite. And like I said, next time when we come back, we'll be heading into the DLC right here, which is Burial at Sea. Oh, interesting. There's two episodes. Huh. Weird. How's that work? I didn't even know there were two episodes. I thought it was all one DLC, but no, there's two episodes? Okay. Okay. I didn't even know about that. So again, hopefully this will be a blind playthrough when I come back to it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. This has been CB Ultra 768. And we'll be back with Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea next time. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye. Mm,